Mountains are raised pieces of land, sometimes stretching for a few kilometers, forming a single mountain such as Mount Elgon, while other times it stretches for a lot of kilometers, forming a mountain range such as Mount Renzori, which stretches for about 120 kilometers, covering some parts of the RSC and Ugandan border. Mountains are formed in almost all parts of the world. We have so many examples of those in Uganda. We have Mount Moroto in Tanzania. We have Mount Kilimanjaro and so many others. And much as we have so many examples of them, there are also various types of mountains based on how they are formed. The first kind of mountain we have are block mountains, we have fold mountains, and we have volcanic mountains, which today is going to be our main point of focus. Volcanic mountains are mountains formed when melted rocks, usually known as magma, from underneath the land where we stand on, blows up through an outlet called a vent and piles up around itself. Let's break this down using this simple diagram. The earth is made up of three major layers, but let's start with what we know. We have on the outermost part, we have the earth's crust. This is the part on which we live, on part, the part on which we grow our plants and we rear our animals. If you are to dig a hole into the earth's crust, you realize that temperatures increase as you go deeper into it. At some point, you get to a huge hot rock that runs for about 3,000 kilometers that is called the mantle. If you go deeper into the mantle, temperatures get as high as 100 billion degrees Celsius, which is way hotter than the sun. It is because of the extreme temperature in this part of the earth that the rocks here are melted into liquid form that we refer to as magma. Magma flows through the cracks of the earth and collects into a much bigger space inside the mantle that we've termed as the magma chamber. As the quantity of magma increases inside the magma chamber, magma continues to force its way out through the earth's crust. It is this continued forceful movement of lava through the earth's crust that enlarges the cracks of the earth to form a huge outlet that we call the main vent. Most magma flows out through the main vent while a few quantity flows out through the side vents. When magma reaches the surface of the earth, it is now called lava. Now it is this lava that cools and solidifies to form a volcanic mountain. Sometimes the magma that erupts out is extremely liquid, which makes it flow for a very long distance, forming hills. Um, while other times the magma that erupts out is very thick, which makes it flow for just a short distance to form single mountains. The most interesting thing about volcanic mountains is that they have the ability to, to erupt more than once. For example, we have the active volcanoes. These are volcanoes that are expected to erupt anytime. Then we have the dormant volcanoes, which have taken quite some time without erupting, but they're expected to erupt anytime. Lastly, we have the extinct volcanoes, which have taken very long without erupting, and they are no longer expected to erupt. Having learned how volcanic mountains are formed, we are going to perform a simple experiment to explain how volcanic eruptions actually occur. For our mountain, we've used clay door, and for our vent, we have uh, a bottle, a plastic bottle. Then inside the bottle, we've, we have a mixture of hydrogen peroxide, we have food color, and we have liquid soap that is going to act as our magma. Now, to get the reaction we want, we are going to put in some little potassium iodide. We are going to put our potassium iodide into our, our mixture and see what happens. So this is how lava flows down from the vent, which we said is our plastic bottle inside. Lava flows down and when it gets into contact with the air outside, it cools and solidifies to form us this mountain. So that is that about volcanic mountains. The next time you're passing by a volcanic mountain, taking pictures or climbing it, you'd know where it came from. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye.